Well, Serpent Lake was bustling with anglers and snowmobile lovers last weekend. On this week's Northwoods Adventure, Anthony Scott brings us to Crosby for their ice fishing tournament and to reminisce on a snowmobile brand that was critical to the city. Two of Minnesota's favorite things to do in the wintertime, snowmobiling and ice fishing. Over 1,000 holes were drilled into the frozen Serpent Lake for the Cuyuna Lakes Chamber of Commerce's 15th annual ice fishing contest. It's a good time out on the ice. Um, we have the music playing. Or you can be in a dance contest if you want. Um, just a great family friendly event to be at. There were many ways to win at the tournament with raffle drawings and prizes being awarded for the top three fish caught in a variety of species, but the ice fishing tournament was only half the fun on Saturday. People from all over brought their vintage scorpion snowmobiles to Serpent Lake to reminisce about a brand that was essential to Crosby, Minnesota. Collectors, former employers, racers, dealers, and distributors of hometown Scorpion snowmobiles come back to show their machines, swap stories, and talk about the good old days when Scorpion snowmobiles was the largest employer here in central Minnesota. In 1959, Crosby, Minnesota was the birthplace of Scorpion snowmobiles. Known for its unique rubber track and light fiberglass body, Scorpions helped transform snowmobiles from an industrial vehicle to a vehicle used for recreation. Well, Scorpion Snowmobiles was a big part of the evolution, the history of the economy of this, of this area. At the homecoming event, Scorpion Stingerette, a snowmobile for women, was the featured sled. Back in the 70s, you know, it was kind of a man's world, and if a woman was going to go out, they usually rode behind. So Scorpion thought, well, you know, I would say let's market something towards the women. Look at the turnout we had here for the purple. Scorpion was eventually bought out by Arctic Cat, and when Arctic Cat had financial troubles in the early 80s, they stopped their production of Scorpion sleds. So the name basically uh, found its way to history and for a lot of people was forgotten. But it isn't really forgotten. We got hundreds of people here remembering the brand and the community that made it all happen. Reporting from Crosby for this week's Northwoods Adventure, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.